Hey everyone, today I'm doing this look and it's like really natural. Um, it's perfect for work or if you don't want to wear makeup, well you don't want to wear heavy makeup, but you want to wear makeup without looking like you wear makeup, you know what I mean? So this is what I came up with, it's just a really natural lid with some natural rounds and a crease and then a really like um, neutral cheek. Um, yeah, just it's this color I mean it looks really dark but it's I used to light hands so it looks really nice and then I just topped it off with a pinky purple um, lip gloss so if you want to learn how to do this look keep on watching so I completely skipped um, the base step I did add a primer which I put on um, Urban Decay Primer Potion but yeah if you need to put a base on go ahead and do that so now just take your traditional palette you're probably not going to be able to see that because of the glare um and it's just a bunch of neutral colors and just take this color right here and this is just a like skin flesh tone color and just tap it off and just put that on your lid you're just going to take that same brush and you're just going to take this color which is more of like a peachy tone right there put this color on the um, outer corner and blend in and a little bit into now what you're going to do is take this brown right here it looks really dark in the pan but it actually is just a nice um, kind of like chocolate brown color And then just get a blender brush and just tap it in. Just like that. And just add that to your crease. And again, it's just going to add a subtle color, not too much of a, um, like, not too much of a distinct, um, hint. Because like I said, we are trying to make this as neutral as possible. Then once you have that blended in, you're going to take a darker brown. And this is just going to add more like depth or, dimen or dimension to your eye. So just take this really dark um, brown. And just get on a pencil type brush. Um, yeah. And just... Put a little tiny bit into your outer V. Just like that. And that color is very pigmented. Well, a lot of these colors are very pigmented, so you only need a little bit. Now what you can do is take that blending brush again. blend it out and then add it to your crease just to deepen that up a little bit and yeah so since I completely forgot to grab my normal highlight brush I'm just gonna take this color again and I'm just gonna use my blender brush and I wiped it off so there's like no color on it and then I'm just gonna add it to my brow bone and this is actually one of my favorite um highlight colors and off then for mascara I'm just going to use covergirl lash blast um, volume waterproof which is my absolute favorite and eyeliner and I'm just using the urban decay 24 7 glide on um, pencil and I would have used my Maybelline Cool Effects eyeliner only as you can see it fell out. Oh. I'm going to have to sharpen that. But if you want it, you can go ahead and use any neutral brown or anything. So I'm just going to put that on and I'll be right back to show you the rest of the look. So that's pretty much the eye look. Um, it's kind of like wearing makeup without looking like you're wearing makeup. Only I use black instead of brown but whatevs. Um, and I 
I just didn't do liquid eyeliner or anything because I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. So on cheeks, I just used Riverside Rose, and that's just a nice, um, um like a flush of color. And you, I just used a light hand with it, and then I just bronzed my face with the NYC Skin Smoothing, or Smooth Skin, um, bronzing powder in Sunny. Just looks like that. So now for lips. I'm just going to use my Sally Hansen Lip Diamond Diamond Lip Treatment in Must Have Iris, and it's just a nice pinky purple color. And I just saw it since everything else is so neutral. I'll just add a pop of color with some pink, pinky purple. Um. Lip so off. here's the completed look. Um. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you later.